Hey guys, welcome back to Our Place. Today's video is going to be a bit of a cuppa and a chat if you would like. I'm just going to answer a few of the questions that have been coming up a bit recently that I have been trying to answer in the comment section but I thought hey what better way to answer this so that it hopefully makes a bit more sense than by just sitting down and having a bit of a chat with you guys. So before I jump into today's video I just want to say if you guys actually have any questions that you'd like to ask about uh, anything really what we're doing um, traveling uh, what we're eating why we're eating it all of those sorts of things let me know in today's video in the comments I probably won't get around to answering them because we are going to be going off grid again for a little bit but it'll give me a bunch of stuff to go back through next time I have the opportunity to sit down and answer a bunch of your questions and I will actually go back through the questions on today's video and make another video and answer them for you guys like that Hopefully that makes sense. Anyways, <laughs> let's jump into today's cuppa and a chat. And with that said, I'm actually not drinking coffee. I am actually drinking nature's cuppa. So I'm going to answer the first question, which is why have I stopped drinking coffee? And basically, um, look, coffee can be really good. And I know that there are some fantastic studies about the health benefits of coffee, and that is not what this is about at all. But basically, I've just been, particularly over the last two years, really trying to listen more to what my body is responding positively to um, and trying to just make some tweaks and some changes so that I'm feeling the best that I can um, and I'm getting the most out of every day. So I've actually dropped out coffee in the morning. I was only ever having one cup of coffee, but just dropping that out and drop and changing to tea or something like this, which is, um, was it like barley? And so barley, rye, chicory, um, a roasted thing. Anyways, I feel like in myself, I'm actually sleeping better at night. I feel like I've got more energy and I feel like I'm more focused during the day. So I don't know if that's the coffee or not. I don't know if it's just some of the other changes that I've made, but I'm feeling better and surprisingly enough, I am not missing having a coffee in the morning. So I haven't felt the need to put it back in. I'm enjoying some of these other drinks. Um, and so for the time being, I think I'm just going to stick with that. But basically, that's it. There wasn't any real uh, particularly exciting reason behind it other than um, I had heard from another friend who said that they made the change and they felt better. I thought, hey, I've got nothing to lose uh, and it's worked for me. It's not going to work for everybody, but it's worked for me. So while it's working, I'm going to keep doing it. So speaking of changes, a lot of you guys have noticed that we've made quite a few changes to our diet over the last two years and if you go back and have a look at some of my much earlier grocery hauls and um, cook with me videos and all of that sort of stuff you'll notice that there's been almost like a complete 180 change in our diet so we are no longer eating meat dairy and um, we are slowly cutting back on added fats to our diet so not cooking with oil reducing salt we are moving to a more whole food, plant-based diet. And again, that comes back to what is making us feel better. And that is primarily why we are doing it. So to answer the question, are you vegan? Are you vegetarian? Um, when people ask me that, I actually say no. I'm not. We don't actually consider ourselves vegan. And the reason being, firstly, um, we are not doing this from an ethical point of view, right, wrong or otherwise. Um, that is not why we've made the decision to cut meat and dairy out of our diet. So I sort of feel like it's wrong to say that we're vegan because I know that's a very ethical based decision and people who are doing that are doing that for ethical reasons for animal rights and that's not why we've made the decision to do this. We are f pretty much following a vegan diet, a whole food plant-based diet, but we don't consider ourselves vegan. We do still consume honey and on occasion we will still have 
um, a little bit of dairy or a little bit of meat. Um, if we're at somebody's house and it's somebody's birthday and they've got birthday cake, uh, we will probably eat a little bit of the birthday cake, even though it's going to have eggs and butter and milk and all those sorts of things in it. But we're just not eating meat and dairy every day. The reason why we've chosen to do that, which is probably the thing that people want to know the most, um, is simply because over the last couple of years I've had a few health scares pop up and in uh, October of last year I actually had my gallbladder removed. I had emergency surgery to have that taken out. Um, it was a pretty full-on experience because we were camped up in the middle of nowhere. We were an hour away from the nearest hospital so we had to rush to Bendigo Hospital in the middle of the night um, and I had emergency surgery to remove my gallbladder the next day. Part of that has meant I just have a lot of trouble digesting meat and dairy products and a lot of saturated fat. So we've started to make those changes, or we had started to make those changes prior to anyways, because I knew that the gallstone was there. It wasn't a new thing. I've been living with Gary, the gallstone, for a little while before that um, and had been trying to manage it with diet and working with my GP and reducing those things that were irritating me and I was finding hard to digest. That would be uh, meat, dairy, particularly full fat and anything that had a lot of saturated fat. I was just really struggling with. So I was working with my doctor, working towards a whole food plant-based diet. Anyways, um, turns out that diet alone was not enough and Gary the gallstone did rear his ugly head at the most inopportune moment um, and Gary the gallstone was voted off the island. Since that time, um, I felt so much better just continuing with the whole food plant-based diet that I've stuck with it. I know a lot of other people who've had their gallbladders removed have gone back to being able to eat all of those other things. For me personally, I'm really enjoying this way of eating. It is saving us a little bit of money. I don't know if you guys have seen the price of meat and dairy lately, but it is going through the roof. Granted, so is everything else, but we feel like it's helping our budget. But the most amazing thing is how it's been helping our health. So um, I was first on board. My husband was not too far behind. Um, and Charlotte, we allow her to do whatever she wants to do. Um, but she chooses to eat probably whole food plant-based the majority of the time, really for ethical reasons. She's probably the only one of us who is actually doing it for the animals and for the environment. Shannon and I are doing it a little bit more for selfish reasons, um, and that would be because we feel better doing it. The interesting thing is that by doing this, we actually feel like we have more energy. We're eating so much food and loving it um, and really enjoying what we're eating, but being able to eat big volumes of food and amazingly enough, seeing amazing health results on the inside, but also the outside as well. So. We've both actually lost a lot of weight over the last two years, which has been really good for our, ourselves. Obviously, there's health benefits with that as well. That's not primarily why we set out to go on this sort of diet, um, but the benefit for us has been that we've actually both lost a lot of weight, which we both needed to do. So um, I can tell you guys that I've lost 10 kilos over the last two years and kept it off and Shannon has actually lost 20 kilos over the last two years and kept it off which is the most important thing. So I have had a bit of a bad history with dieting and weight loss in the past. That's something that I can go into in another video if you guys are interested in um, but a lot of yo-yo dieting, a lot of trying other different diets um, that never actually worked. And I was never able to actually stick with a particular eating way for a long period of time. A couple of months, maybe six months max, and then I'd go back to my old way of eating because nothing had ever really changed. And what's been really interesting with this whole, whole, whole food plant-based um, change in our diet is that it's actually something that we've really embraced, we're really enjoying, and we found it really easy to stick with, and we will continue to stick with it for the, you know, unforeseeable future.
foreseeable future? Which way does it go? Anyways, we're just going to keep doing it because it's working for us. Having said that, and going back to what I was saying before, um, we really don't consider ourselves vegan. Um, and I don't want to upset anybody who is vegan. Hats off to you if that's what you've chosen to do. But I suppose more what I want to say is um, if I could have any kind of message about diet, it would be do what is right for you. And it's okay to do what's right for you right now. So I'm not here to preach to anybody. Yes, you will see a, a lot of whole food plant-based diets in my videos because I just show you guys what we're cooking as we go. So you're kind of going to see that. But hey, if you want to get a bit of inspo from what I'm doing and you want to add bacon to it, <laughs> bit of cheese to it, oh, man, I'm not going to be upset about it. You do you. Um, but I hope also to the flip side of that is that... Um, you guys obviously respect the fact that we're doing what's right for us. We are working with medical advice on some things. Like I said, cutting back the oil, cutting back the salt. Um, they would be because they're doctor's recommendations. Doesn't necessarily mean that's right for everybody. But hey, that's what's right for us right now. So I suppose the other takeaway um, would be that it's okay to change when you need to change. So one day I might go back to drinking coffee and I'm okay with that. Um, one day I might go back to eating meat and dairy and I'm okay with that. Nothing has to be forever, but I think it's important that we listen to our bodies and do what's right for us right now. Um, so yeah, that got a little bit off track. But anyways, um, I hope that that answered a couple of questions that have been coming up fairly regularly for you guys um, in that why are these changes happening why am I not cooking with oil uh, why am I trying to cut back salt why am I not drinking coffee anymore um, why are we not eating meat or dairy it's not that we think that those things are inherently bad food is just food um, you need to do what's right for you but also listen to your body because your body will tell you what's right for it and what's not and for a long time I wasn't listening to my body I was trying to either a force down things that I thought were healthy because I needed to eat them um, or I was just listening to my brain about all the things that I wanted to eat rather than actually listening to the rest of my body and thinking about how I was feeling after I'd eaten those foods so that's just a little something to, to, to think about. And um, that's what's going on at our place at the moment. Yes, so you will see lots of meals with fruits, vegetables, um, trying to include more whole grains. Whole grains. You'll see lots of um, legumes, lentils, beans, chickpeas, all of that sort of stuff is our jam at the moment. You will see some pre-packaged stuff because even though we are trying to eat more whole food plant-based, you know what? Nobody's perfect. And we are traveling around Australia at the moment, which means we're on the go a lot every day. And sometimes you just need something that is quick and easy to put dinner on the table. And that's okay too. Would it be great to eat a perfect diet all day, every day? Well, of course, but also I think we need to be realistic. We all have lives. They're all different but we all have demands on us each day and just do the best that you can. And sometimes it's also okay to buy products that perhaps aren't the most frugalist. Maybe you're not saving the most, maybe there's a cheaper option, uh, but it is the product that is going to get used and eaten. So that's another takeaway as well. Cause I have been asked about that. Why do I pick some uh, products that are more expensive when there are cheaper alternatives if I'm supposed to be like all about frugal living and all that sort of stuff. Well, here's what it comes down to. In my experience, I would rather spend the money on the thing that is going to get used rather than buying a cheaper alternative and have it sit in the cupboard or the fridge and not get eaten because people don't like it because that's not frugal either. So buy the thing that does get used. If it's a bit more expensive, we do put some limits on it. You know, sometimes you got to make it last because maybe I only buy it once a month or whatever. Uh, but at the same time, you know, sometimes it's okay to have something that's a little bit nicer 
it's okay to have something that's a treat as well that's the other thing um, just you know treats are supposed to be occasional not every day that's it that's my two cents on that anyways I hope that answered a few of the questions that I know have been coming up in the comments heaps like I've said I have tried to respond to everybody um, when they've come up in the past but I thought hey let's sit down and have a, have a bit of a chat about it uh, and like I said in the beginning if there is anything that you'd like to ask me you'd like me to answer specifically then please leave me a comment in this video I probably won't get around to answering all of those in the comment section but what I will do is later on down the track I'll sit down and I'll bring up all of those questions because they'll be together in one spot and I will answer every single one of them for you guys in another cuppa and a chat video. Well until then hope you guys are having a fantastic week. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was a bit of a different one. Hope you didn't mind me talking for the whole 15 minutes. Sorry about that. Um, like always if you did enjoy today's video if you could please give it a thumbs up i really do appreciate that it lets me know the kind of content you guys are enjoying and what you'd like to see more of and if you'd like to see more stuff like this and you haven't already hit that little subscribe button now would be the perfect time for you to do that um, it is the best way to stay up to date and get notifications when i post a new video all right i'm going to call it there because i don't know if you can see we are in wa I'm sitting in the caravan and I'm actually starting to get a bit of a sweat mo <laughs> because I turned the aircon off so that you guys could actually hear me. But it is hot here. It's like 35 degrees, 36 degrees, and the humidity is ridiculous. But anyways, that's what I'm up to. Um, hope you guys are well where you are. I hope it's a little bit cooler where you guys are. Um, and until then, till next time, guys, take care and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.